Breaking news tonight in the Ubaldi investigation. We have new documents and video to share with you, obtained by CBS 19 and our media partners across the state of Texas. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jesus Martinez. The records we are sharing with you tonight have not previously been made public, and we are only being released now because of a court order. They provide additional context surrounding the tragedy at Ubalde Elementary and the law enforcement response. Now, the records we received today are extensive. They include 19 calls to 911, along with 11 police audio dispatch recordings, 234 non-emergency calls, as well as dozens of body cam videos and three dash cam videos. Our teams across the state are sifting through all of it to get the victims' families the answers they so desperately are seeking. Now, the records do not change what we already know about what was widely seen as a failed response, but they do reveal new information. What we're about to show you are the initial findings our teams have found, but before we do, a warning that the details are disturbing and the video is difficult to watch. And the 911 calls are truly heart-wrenching. Tony Poletsky from our sister station in Austin has covered the tragedy to Rob Elementary, so this is the beginning, and joins us with more. And he made it to the building, guys. Newly released audio and video confirming what we already knew about the mass shooting at Rob Elementary School. There was chaos among law enforcement as they struggled to figure out who was in charge and dealt with communication issues while treating the active shooter situation as a barricaded subject. We also have to end the school on the west side of the building. Uh, he's contained. We got multiple officers inside the building at the time. You believe he's uh, barricaded in one of the in one of the offices. Still shooting. In the end, it took 77 minutes for officers to breach a classroom and take down the gunman. The release from the city of Uvalde also includes 911 calls from that day from witnesses who saw the gunman approaching Rob Elementary School. Oh my God, they're running. I don't know why. Oh my God, they're going to the school, man. They got to hurry. And from teachers inside the building. I gotta go. I can't let him hear me. Also released calls from the shooter's relatives hoping to get through to him. He's my nephew, man. He's the shooter. Maybe he could, he, he could listen to me because he does listen to me. Everything I tell him, he does listen to me. That call coming too late, several minutes after law enforcement entered the classroom and took down the shooter. In Austin, I'm Tony Plahetsky. Now, the release of these documents and video comes after Uvalde Police Chief Pete Arredondo and former Uvalde School Officer Adrian Gonzalez were arrested just over a month ago for abandoning and endangering a child, among other charges. They were among the first to respond to the shooting at Rob Elementary. And yesterday, Arredondo's attorney held a press conference defending the former police chief. And earlier this week, Arredondo himself sat down with CNN and said the police did the best they could with the information they had at the time. His attorney back in that statement and blaming outdated police protocols. These protocols didn't work. They've got to be upgraded. These protocols came into effect because of previous school shootings. We don't have enough of those incidents to be able to have already perfect protocols. They didn't work that day because they need revision. They need flexibility. They need to be put together with more and comprehensive information. Now, right now, our teams are still sifting through all the body cam video, the emails, recordings, and other documents as we speak. We have an article right now up on our website with those updated documents as they are being reviewed. And for the latest on this story, you can visit our website, cbs19.tv.